All right, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe to this channel, and then you can get all of the notifications because I have 12 videos coming up and it's great to be notified. You don't have to come hunt me down, <laughs> which is a good thing, right? So I wanna talk about the month of October for each zodiac sign, but here's the preface I'm gonna put in front of each video, okay? Right off the bat, the month of October, we have, it starts right out with Mercury is still retrograde in the sign of Libra. So with it retrograde in Libra, and it has been since September 17th, um, the energy of this is represented that we're looking for peace, we're looking for harmony, we're looking for balance in our communications with others. And so this is very important for us to really find that in our lives. And, you know, when the Mercury, when Mercury is retrograde, sometimes we're being made aware of how things are out of balance, especially in the sign of Libra. So keep that in mind, and I'll tell you what house that's in for each zodiac sign when I get to the details coming up next. Mercury, Mercury is in Libra, but we have the Sun, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all in the sign of Virgo. So I'm going to focus on that in these video rec recordings here. There's a ton of stuff in October happening, but I'm going to really focus on the Virgo energy for the most of October. All right, and that means... Virgo is all about service to others. It's also about our daily living, our daily health, how we take care of ourselves. I mean, a regular routine of things that we do. It's our work, the work that we go to every day, our co-workers. It's, you know, and it's getting back and forth. And Mercury is the ruler of Virgo as well as Gemini. And with it being retrograde for the beginning of the month and just in a shadow phase for most of the rest of the month of October, you know, communications and paying attention to the details are going to be very important for every single one of us, no matter what your zodiac sign. It just depends on what your zodiac sign is and how you respond to Virgo energy as to how you will um, work with the month of October. All right. So let me get on to that. And thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe and come to my website as well. There's little boxes. Oh, I probably put them over here. Where is it? There we go. I'll probably put them right over there where you can click right into my website. Thank you for watching. And um, all right, hang on because you're next. All right, Taurus, this one's for you. Now we start off the month of October, like I mentioned, with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Libra. And for you, that means it's in your sixth house. And so with Libra... Um, and with Mercury actually let retrograde in that sign of relationships and communication in the area of your chart for you with Taurus rising, it is all about, you know, what's going on on a daily basis. It's that daily communication that you have with those that um, you would call partner or with your co-workers. And so that might have felt a little uncomfortable for a while now, especially starting middle of September. And by the time we get to the end of October, things will have lightened up a little bit for you in that regard. But in the meantime, that sixth house is ruled by Virgo and everything else that's going on is Virgo qualities because other planets, like I mentioned, are in Virgo. So they are all in your solar sixth house. And that sixth house is where you want to be creative. And some people don't always think of... Um, you know, being very detail-oriented as creative because you're, it's very analytical and very thought-provoking. But the Virgo energy of the Sun, of Venus, uh, once she gets into the sign of Virgo on October 8th, Mars is already in Virgo, and Jupiter is already in Virgo. And so those five planets in that, in that solar fifth house for you, it should be inspiring you to be very creative in a very Virgo way. So if... Um, you need to just focus in and just hone in on something very specific, very detail-oriented. Some people can be very creative with numbers because Virgo is the bookkeeper um, in some cases. And so focus in on those details. That's what this fifth house energy is all about. Venus coming from there, making a square to Saturn on the 10th, just means you're able to be very creative, but you can also be very grounded, very earthy, and really um, take a project it's a little bit of a challenge you know Saturn Venus squares um, represent a little bit of effort and work that needs to happen but again it's coming from that fifth house of creativity for you so that is your main focus being creative and 
figuring out what it is you're passionate about. When Saturn's involved like it is um, around the 10th for you, it just means that you can actually put your nose to the grindstone and find the discipline that you need to do those Virgo type things that maybe as a Taurus you don't always want to do. But a Taurus is an earth sign as is Virgo. So, so it's not the end of the world. It just means that, <laughs> it's never the end of the world, but it just means that you have a lot of focus and be very grounded in the focus that you're doing. With Jupiter in there too, that's being very expansive. Wherever Uncle Jupiter is, yes, he's your big rich uncle. Wherever he is, um, he always is about expanding that. So um, you could even expand the children that you have. So the number of children that you have. So watch that. That might be something to be very careful about. But you also could focus in on how you've spent money and how you're taking risks with your money or taking risks of the heart. All of these are fifth house qualities, okay, where you take risks of the heart with your money, um, how you're creative, what you're passionate about. And that Virgo focus in that sector for you is a very natal thing. It's very, it, you, you're used to it. You're born with this. But all those planets piled up in there, big focus now for you, especially the month of October. And if anything left you in September with those eclipses, you're still feeling the energy of it now. So you're able to rebuild on a daily basis. So focus in, be very, very present with what you're doing. That's what Virgo requires from us. Be very present and be creative. Find what your passion is. That's the goal of all this Virgo October energy for you who have Taurus rising. And I will leave you with that. To have more information, because there's always, this, this is, I have at least 30 things written down here. So I'm just kind of winging it for each sign. But if you want to know more, you know how to have, you know how to get a hold of me. You just go right to my website. There's a little button at the top here. I don't know which side it will be on. And <laughs> you know, you look at the camera, things are opposite. And um, so come to my website, purchase your own session if you like, and subscribe to this channel because that way you get more information. And I will be doing some instructional videos coming up very, very soon. I'm also going to be doing a question and answer blog as well. So um, start sending me your questions. I would love that. Astrology questions. I'm not going to do chart readings. Astrology questions. Thank you very much. Blessed be and namaste. Okay, just a quick final note. I am going to be doing a video blog pretty soon and I would love your questions so I can do a question and answer video. It will be going mostly uh, straight. I pretty much I'm going to do it straight through my YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel, through my Facebook channel. So um, send me your questions. I'm not going to be doing personal readings and personal charts. Like I've got this blah, 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 blah. But just basic questions. It's going to be very educational, fun, and light and airy. So send me your questions. And I would love to uh, include your questions in my video blog. Thank you.